Chris Wong's news updates at 10. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim instructed the ministry's chief secretary, KSU, and department heads to submit monthly reports on the progress and contributions of civil servants in implementing government projects. At the meeting with members of the Prime Minister's Department for the month of January 2024 in Putrajaya today, Dr. Sri Anwar said the report should be submitted to the Chief Secretary KSN, Tan Sri Mohamed Zuki Ali, before being informed to him. The number of flood victims in Johor continues to rise to 6,564 people as of 8 a.m. today, compared to 3,322 people recorded at 8 p.m. yesterday. State Disaster Management Committee Chairman Tan Sri Dr. Azmi Rohani said in a statement, the increase in involved evacuees from Kota Tinggi, Kluang and Johor Bahru. He said a total of 1,819 families have been evacuated to 51 PPS in six districts so far, with Kota Tinggi recording the highest number of victims, totaling 2,964 people from 783 families at 24 PPS, followed by Johor Bahru, 1,844 people from 504 families at 10 PPS, and Kluang, 1,633 victims from 500 families at 14 PPS. The Bahasa Melayu oral test for the Sijil Pelajaran Malaysia SPM 2023 examination starts today, involving 395,870 registered candidates. The tests are being conducted at 3,340 examination centres nationwide until Thursday, January 11th. The English oral test will commence from January 17 to 23rd, the Bahasa Melayu and English listening tests on January 29th and the written exam from January 30th to March 7th, while the science practical test was carried out on December 5th to 7th last year. In foreign news, the UN Palestinian Refugee Agency said Sunday that its shelters in the Gaza Strip are massively overcrowded. Communications Director of the UN Relief and Works Agency, Juliet Chuma, told ABC News, Gaza does not have civilian infrastructure to support such a huge influx of displaced people, with many now sleeping on the streets. According to Gaza's health authorities, at least 22,835 Palestinians have since been killed and 58,416 others injured since the attacks on Gaza on October 7th. And finally, Foreign Minister Annalena Baybock said Sunday, Germany is ready to allow sales of Eurofighter jets to Saudi Arabia, having for years blocked arms deals with the Gulf Kingdom. Germany has blocked arms sales to Riyadh since the 2018 murder of dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. And that concludes the news updates at 10 edited by Marion Hour. Stay tuned for World News at 11. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Malaysia Madani tekat perpaduan penuhi harapan. Good morning. This is Track Set Down. Playing your favorite music 24-7. Experience the excitement. Right here, right here, right here, right here on Tracks FM. <laughs>